So the nice thing about um, putting up the tarps with uh, taut line hitches, it makes them completely adjustable. You can move them around in any direction. So there's that taut line hitch again. Pulling it two times on the inside, once on the outside before we get a bite. I can just release that like every other knot just by pulling on the tab. Let's do it one more time. Pull it here on the inside and the side facing the tarp. Wrap it around the line twice. And we'll loop down and then just pull that bite over through and tighten it down. That's a top line hitch. And you can see now as I pull on it, I'm going to go back a little bit. You see as I pull on it, that nice tight pull. And I can adjust it. So if I need to move it more this way, I can see I've got much more space over here. I can pull it this way a little bit. Pull it this way, it tightens up again. So, there are a lot of different ways you can set the tarp up, but this is a quick, easy one, um, especially for, you know, tent camping or in the backyard, not expecting terrible weather. A small tarp like this can give you a lot of coverage. Um, and just put it in the center. Um, we'll do a bigger tarp, a much more typical tarp. And what you'll normally do is put a line going all the way across back and forth between your supports, but you don't need to do that. What is a problem though if you attach it to your suspension is that when you sit in this, normally you just tie a tarp down to the peg. So you'll tie a knot right here, maybe with a taut line hitch. Make sure the peg goes all the way down facing this way. Contact to the ground. The farther you put that peg in, much more tension it can hold. The same thing over here. Now normally if you tie it to the peg, what happens when you sit in the hammock is that the tarp goes completely loose. It's completely flat. So as we pull on this, so if we have a nice tight, tight uh, tarp, if you sit in it, the tarp goes completely flat. So what we'll do, there's a couple ways to do this easily. First is just to tie another taut line hitch on the bottom. Somewhere close to where you're going to be. Crisscrossing this tail. Put all the tension that you're going to have in it. I pull it up completely. So I need a little bit more distance over here. Put all the tension that you're going to actually have on it. And then just tie another thought line hitch. And that will pull it out tightly. Get a little more distance over on the side. Just where you want it side to side. And for this top line hitch, all we're going to do again, here's your little working static line, or static line. We're going to wrap inside of that twice around. And bring it over, wrap it one more time, pulling a bite in the middle. That's it. Now we can tighten that thing up as much as we want. And I am in the tarp now. And I've got a nice, tight tarp completely above me. I can tighten that as much as I want. We might want to adjust this side a little bit so that it's tighter. But that's a nice, nice cover that gets you on every side. The terrain. One of the things you can do is actually attach one of the edges. The edge of the uh, your hammock. Well, that's not now. You want to release that or else it's going to put a ton of tension on the tarp. You're going to release that a little bit. If you do, on these cheap tarps, the biggest thing that happens is these little grommets just pull right out. This is a $4 tarp and these things will rip right out. So, uh, what you can do if that happens, you can see over here I actually ripped one out, tying it to something. Um, so with this much tension on it, it's uh, likely to rip. What you can do in that case is uh, basically just tie sheet bend right to the cloth and that, that lets you really easily um, just 
tie this like this, use it like a rope, put your rope around, tie the sheet bend on it. You don't have to have a grommet, and that'll hold very strongly. You, you, know, you, won't, you don't want to rip your, your uh, tarp. Just start with that, don't even use the grommet. Uh, so that's a nice little basic setup. You can kind of see how it's, how it's angled. You can pull it out farther. Uh, if you want more coverage, you can pull it in closer. Uh, so for the next one, we'll do a, a bigger tarp. One other little trick is instead of tying a knot like a plot line hitch, you can just use a sheet bend, tie it loosely, and when you're in the hammock, pull it and uh, stick a stake in the ground while you're sitting in the tarp. And that'll, that'll hold more attention. You don't have to tie a knot. You don't have to how to tie a plot line. Okay, so that, that's a good basic way. Um, we'll do a more traditional uh, secure and, and uh, less uh, possibly adjustable way with the uh, figure topic.